Well, I think um, probably the, the best way I could put it is we escaped tonight. Uh, we certainly didn't play our, our, our best basketball, but uh, we did enough good things down the stretch, um, you, you know, to, to get us the victory. But, you know, uh, Isaiah Fillmore uh, gave us fits all night. He's a matchup problem throughout the league, but I thought he played extremely well, uh, both inside and out, causing us problems. Um, and, uh, you know, luckily uh, in the second half, uh, Chase Allen um, really picked up his game and really kind of put us on his back for a stretch there and got us enough cushion that we could um, finish the game out. Let's talk about those last 25 seconds, you guys, you know, from the free throws to the second half and then John comes up with those five free throws. Yeah, I, I mean, in order to win games in this league, you have to make your free throws down the stretch. Uh, I think all year long we've been a very, very good free throw shooting team. It's actually one of our strengths. Um, and, um, you, you know, we left the door open a little bit for them, but uh, made enough of those down the stretch to keep a, a, a cushion uh, that we needed because they came down and made some shots and made some plays to keep them in the game. It seemed like Ryan Pierce had a huge impact tonight. You know, he really established himself at, I think, 17 points or something like that. I mean, right. what about uh, his performance tonight? What allowed him to get so open against so many open looks in the past? Well, I, I think this young man sitting next to us, uh, you, you know, he, he does it, draws an awful lot of attention. So when he comes off a ball screen, um, you know, a lot of times Ryan is the, the beneficiary of that. Um, you know, he gets a, gets into an open pocket and Chase delivers him the ball. I thought Kari did a nice job of getting him the ball as well. Um, but, you know, Ryan's coming along. Uh, he, he missed that dunk and, uh, you know, that's, um, you know, it was an aggressive play. Uh, I would have preferred him to lay the ball in the basket at that point in the game, but uh, I, I admire and uh, re respect the sentiment. He wanted to be aggressive and, and attack the rim. And, um, you, you know, I think he's doing that uh, better and better for us. Uh, but he started out uh, fast, and I think he had, a, he had a pretty complete game this evening. Chase, fair to say the loss of Hospital took a bump in the road tonight. Coming after winning four in a row, tomorrow tonight, the offense certainly was going all night, and then the defense seemed to finally get going. Glad to probably the second half of it. We were able to make enough plays and win the game. Uh, wasn't one of our best games. Uh, made enough stops towards the end and hit down, knocked down a couple free throws and maybe pull it out. Chase, one of those things where you're down six at halftime, this team hasn't played yet in the conference. When you're a senior, you say, all right, I'll go with you. Uh, yeah, I felt uh, myself and my teammates settled for a look, so some jumpers in the first half. Uh, we didn't get to the rack, get to the foul line. And uh, I just wanted to come out and be aggressive. And I knew if I was able to be aggressive, I could get my teammates involved. And that's, that's how the game went. And I thought in the first half, I mean, we took shots. And they were good shots, but they weren't great shots. We didn't really throw that many extra passes. And I, and I thought there was a stretch where <laughs> Um, Chase made a couple threes, and uh, you know John Lee made a three, Joel made a three, and it was really pretty good ball movement. And we changed the floor, and guys were looking for one another. We were much more aggressive getting into the lane and penetrating either by pass or dribble, and then getting quality shots. And I thought, um, you know, I think Chase pushed the ball in transition and got us some great looks um, in the early offense, and that kind of gave us some separation in the second half. Talk about your progression over four years. You started out um, as someone who struggled a little bit from the perimeter, but the last two or three years you've been able to get more and more shots from out there. And you know, now you're 10th all time or in the top 10 all time in scoring in the East. Can you talk about your progression over four years? Uh, well, coming in, uh, I learned under Matt Jennon. Uh, he helped me a lot at the guard spot, great shooter. Uh, and then hard work in the summers. I was able to get in there and get some shots up and develop my perimeter game to go along with my driving ability and uh, been able to progress over the years. And coming in my senior year, I knew I had to step up and be a scorer along with a leader and uh, get my teammates involved. And I've been able to do that. Jason, you talk about how you learn under Matt Janet. Are you trying to do the same thing with John Lee right now, a guy who's kind of progress as far as the years go? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to make it as easy as I can on him. Uh, with me on the court, it, I draw a lot of attention, as Coach said, and uh, him learning under another good guard is, is uh, the way to go. Uh, I learned under Matt, like I said, and uh, he's doing a great job of it. Coach, can you talk a little bit about John this season? I still the last couple games. Yeah, I mean, John's John's gotten, gotten better each and every day, and I, th I think the one thing that, um, you know, 
But one characteristic that John has is, is mental toughness. Uh, you know, he, he struggled through a freshman year where he sat behind some good players, but uh, you know, ma no matter what, it's hard to sit and, and watch. And uh, he really took the summer. Um, he took it to heart. Uh, he's got a lot of pride in himself and his game. And, and he worked extremely hard uh, to, to make himself a better player. He came in ready to take to seize an opportunity. And um, I think like Chase says, he's got Chase out there as a security blanket. Um, he can borrow some confidence from him, um, but he's made the most of that opportunity. When he's out there, um, he brings a lot of energy to our team, uh, defensively and offensively. Uh, he's getting more and more aggressive um, and picking his spots, certainly shooting a great percentage. And I think his calmness down the stretch, he's, he's had a couple of games where he's been on the line late for us. The Wilmington game, he made six free throws in a row. Um, so you just, you know, you just have to admire his mental toughness. So do you sense these three starting guards have really developed something together? It seems, as I've noticed in another game tonight where all three are in double figures, and it seems like when that happens, this team is going to have a tough of a team. You know, so 14 assists and five turnovers combined as well. They, they have great chemistry out there, and, and, and I, I credit Chase for that. You know, he moves the ball. Uh, you know, it starts with him. He gets those guys involved. He gets into the lane. Um, and the three of those guys all can make threes. They can all go off the dribble, um, and, and they look for each other. When we, throw, when we throw the extra pass, we're a much better basketball team, especially when those guys are, are looking for one another on the perimeter. Uh, you know, last game on Saturday, you guys had all five of your starters in double figures. Tonight you had four of your five, and it just seems like out late you've had multiple players, you know, three, four, five guys, reach double figures, and as a result, your scoring output's gone up. What has changed in this team in that you're getting everybody involved more often? It seems like a long time ago since that old Dominion game, you guys really struggled on offense. But what's kind of turned things around that everybody's making contributions to the well, well, in Old Dominion, we didn't have him, so that, <laughs> that's, that's one thing. But the, the, the other thing is, I, I think, you know, a lot of the sophomores didn't play all that much last year. They're now coming in with, uh, you know, some experience. Uh, you know, 20 plus games into the year, playing 30 odd minutes. You know, you're getting out there, you're getting more comfortable. You, you know how you can score and, and uh, how the offense is going to work for you. And they're looking for those opportunities. Uh, I, I, I think guys understand that, you know, particularly Chase, it's not going to be a one-man show. We can't just go out there and, and beat somebody with one, one person. We need balanced scoring. We need to throw the extra pass. We need to execute on offense. And as the freshmen get some experience, as in Ryan Pearson and Alex Harris and Alex Bates had a nice contribution tonight, and the sophomores get a little bit more experience, then it all starts to come together a little bit better for us. But we, we need Ryan uh, particularly in there um, to, to develop around the basket, to give us an anchor around the basket so we can get to the free throw line a little bit and um, you, you know, play inside-out basketball with our good perimeter shooters.